guys, it's your boy Blast from SageD, and today we are here to feel good about the fact that we didn't do dumb sh growing up. Well, yeah, just not a lot of criminally dumb. Sh Without further ado, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link's in the description down below is by Top Extract. Ten guilty convicts reacting to their own life sentences, aka reacting to their own bad decision making and the consequences from it. Brought to you by breakfast, you know, because I probably won't poop today unless I eat it. Twizzles. Yep. Yeah, fight, fight the job. Man accused of man accused of killing me. What did you think would happen? Andrew was on the phone with her mother early Friday when he attacked her. A life sentence is the worst punishment you can receive as a human being, as you will be forced to live the rest of your life in confined walls. And people don't react well when the judges take the rest of their lives away. Today we're counting 10 convicts reacting to life sentences. Oh! Ooh! Dang! This first video shows two women collapsing to the ground after reacting to their life sentences, even though they are 100% deserved of what was coming to them. These two women were convicted for the death of a three-year-old girl. They were guilty of beating the toddler to the point of death. So if that isn't worth a life sentence, I'm not sure what is. And they're gonna have to be mad like they didn't do it. Oh, why, Lord, no! Yep, yep, there you go. Yep. Yep, maybe next time just take her toys away? Or something? Yeah, you kinda you kinda killed a three-year-old man. Maybe next time show some restraint and this turn off her cartoons to life or something. In prison without the possibility of parole for beating an elderly woman to death after burglarizing her house. He has also been accused before of sexually assaulting his sister and many other people. But what? instead of acting all emotional, he acts extremely calmly. To That's the vagina that you was going after? Yep. You know what they say, keep it in the family. Huh? You know why they say that? Because they don't say that. What are you doing? Punishment. Probably a little bit too comfortably, as he is seen actually falling asleep. Not once, but twice during the sentencing. With a chuckle, a laugh, and yawn after yawn, David Moses acted strangely at his sentencing this morning, appearing to fall asleep in his chair not once, but twice, suffered physical, verbal, and emotional abuse growing up, leading to a lengthy criminal history, including sexually assaulting his sister, then a developmentally disabled cousin, and seven other children while he was in a group home. While Sessions' family said they hope to one day see her again in heaven. This next defendant lashes out after he has been accused of torturing and murdering a four-year-old with accusations of putting the child in an ice-cold bath with freezing cold water and beating the toddler before brutally murdering the young child. Nothing says manly like, like beating and torturing someone who doesn't even understand what's going on. That makes sense. Yep, children. Hope you like doggy style, because you're going to need it. Despite <laughs> his restraints, in a stupid attempt to actually attack the judge for mentioning all of these accusations, the, the guards hold him back, obviously. The bruises, some of the bruises were in the shape of a belt buckle. I'm gonna let you sit here saying You did it! You did it! No, man, because he's a fuck. shit he don't even know. You literally did it! Testimony showed that you put this child in other trials in a No, that's not happening. What do you with cold water? Anybody says anything back there about it? Where is police brutality when you need it? Where is police brutality when you need it? Come on, Megan! There it is. There's no, it's not. Apparently, Baby Bass has fallen on hard times. <laughs> 
Y'all remember back when he used to make that music? So, uh, the best part is I can only imagine that's his family crying in the background like he didn't do it. This next defendant set up a meet online in a dating app which led to a robbery and the unfortunate death of the victim involved. It's obvious this girl was way in over her head, but the law is the law. You deserve to go to jail! To the time for this crime that ended Are you gonna cry? Like you didn't do it. Her reaction shows the you girl dirty calling hole. for her mother. Her you mother dirty hole! Down in tears after her daughter is ultimately convicted. My daughter's a dirty hole! That's terrible! Here, life, please! <laughs> I actually feel a little bit bad for this chick, man. Not because she's going to jail for prison. She deserves all that and she's a whore. But, you know what I mean? Like watching your mom break down and cry. No wonder it's your fault. I don't think there's anything worse, yo. Like, you could have taken that same energy and gotten a job. <laughs> That's what fast money gets you, people. It's, <laughs> fast money ain't worth it. Crime is not easy. That's the problem. People think, oh, crime is easy money. No. The sacrifices come from something else. If you get a job, your sacrifice is in the eight hours that you're going to be at the job. And you have to be there on time. And you have to, you know, act like you give a shit about the job. You know what I mean? If you're an entrepreneur, you got to bust your do a whole bunch of stuff that most people ain't willing to do. You're gonna lose sleep. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do crime, this is the cost. This is the stuff that you that you have to run into. It only takes one time for you to get life in prison. That's real. She probably ain't done this like 10, 15 times, but the one time it goes south, life. <laughs> This dude has to be, this guy right here, the overweight dude in the checkered shirt, he has to be the victim's parent or victim's cousin or something because he don't seem remorseful at all. He's like, yeah, he's life. Give it to her. Oh, Meet Jaleel Hoskins, the man that killed a mother of five and disposed of her body in a trash can. When Jaleel's sentence was announced, he throws the podium to the floor and has to be muscled out of the room in a chokehold position. His mother can also be heard saying she loves her son despite the disgusting crime that he has actually committed and is guilty of. <coughs> This next defendant killed a man in an attempted robbery. The single bullet that killed the 43 year old family man also cost Jay Kill his life. He says in the video that he is ready for his punishment and apologizes to the mother for breaking her heart and is ready to serve the punishment that he deserves. I will take time off to apologize to the family. I'm sorry I did. I know it was wrong. Now I'm going to take my punishment for what I did. I'm going to apologize to my mom. I'm sorry 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 I
than it serve a life sentence in prison. These were the final minutes of Michael Marin's story and life. How he got here is a tragic and bizarre tale, but before we tell this story, remember this moment. After being found guilty of arson and now facing up to 21 years in prison, Marin covers his face and appears to swallow something. Swallow again. But eight minutes later, Marin starts convulsing and collapsing. Even though it's not been officially determined what killed Michael Marin, it's believed Marin swallowed some type of poison. This teenager known as Austin Shymaker murdered his girlfriend's little boy after brutally beating him. In the court, he starts crying and controversially starts apologizing and say that he didn't mean to hurt the young boy. You didn't mean to hurt him by beating him? Word! A lot of people believe he did this to try and shorten his sentence, which didn't work as he is now serving a life sentence behind bars. I will give my life for Austin. I loved him a lot. You give your life for him. You loved him. That's why you killed him? Oh, you need to be in jail. Lord forbid you stay out and love someone else. I didn't mean to kill Austin. I really didn't. Doesn't matter. I didn't mean to hurt him. Doesn't matter. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. Would you? I love him a lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. That's a, that's a given. But there were other dynamics at work there, including my client's inability to either control his anger or frustration. Which is why he needs to be in prison for the rest of his life. Inexperience in babysitting. Based on his short life path, what is to say he won't do this again? Well, we don't know that. I think it's completely unlikely. It was a situational, circumstantial thing. I am. What situation leads you to beating a child to death? I mean, kids are frustrating as hell. But you don't kill it. <laughs> oh. 16 year old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury and they're going to feel sorry for me. And Afterwards, Shoemaker was sentenced to 25 years to life behind bars. TJ Lane might be familiar to you, but if he's not, let me fill you in like one of those kids coloring books. He was sentenced to life in prison while wearing a white t-shirt with the simple word killer on it which shows a complete lack of remorse and shows that he is, any, if anything, proud of the murders that he's actually committed, which were of three high school students. One of their mothers is actually saying how terrible TJ Lane is, all the while TJ Lane is just sitting there smiling away. Nick is a very kind and loving. Why would you want to hurt him? You, you don't know kind. You're evil. I will have to eventually forgive you, otherwise you will haunt me. You will never ever be in my thoughts after this. Never. My family will move on, not you. You have ruined your life, not to mention Adams. He even gave you a ride. Nick even gave you a ride from school. He was thinking about inviting you back to that, to that table because he felt sorry for you. It's hard for me to say like, you know what I mean? Like don't go out of your way to help people who are you're just going through the worst of times always. You know what I mean? Because when I was younger, yeah, I, I ain't really have a whole bunch of friends and all that. But like, I've tried helping someone who had some of these same sort of problems. And it's always ended in, in me feeling bad. I feel sorry for you. This California teen was sentenced before freaking out and begging not to go to prison. His family are also emotional. Isn't this the dude that like rammed a steel rod up a, a, a child's butt in a classroom and the teacher helped or something or didn't stop it? Some weird type of, I, I remember one of them. And it is clear that the teenager regrets the crimes he's committed. Now he regrets the consequence. As starts to break down in the courtroom. No surprise, but what else happened in the courtroom certainly was. Oh, oh, that's so Returning to jail, 18-year-old Fernando Salgado begs to get to go home. Is this the same young man who is sobbing today? The same student who authority teen suspect in sex hazing scandal erupts in court. This is the dude who shoved a pole up a special needs child's butt. Say sodomized another teen with a piece of metal rebar. <laughs> Note to self, 
you don't want to go to jail for committing a crime, it's probably a good idea that you don't do the crime. Some really good advice I would give you guys is think of all the consequences of the action you're gonna do before doing an action that you normally wouldn't do. And if in that moment you realize that the consequences aren't worth what you would get for doing that said action, don't do it. So I'm do criminal crap. Did I go to jail? Damn that! But yo, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Hope y'all learned a little something, something. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Twist.